Hey guys, it's me, Missy. Sorry I didn't post a video on Monday. It was Memorial Day here. I had to take a moment to remember the fallen soldiers who so humbly gave up their lives. We also took a trip to the beach with my dog and we had a blast. The beach is such a relaxing place for me to go. Luckily, we live within driving distance to the beach, so I can go whenever I feel I need a peaceful moment. Well, enough about my weekend. Let's get on to the lesson. Sometimes Spanish speakers are confused about how to use some of these words in a sentence. Anybody, everybody, nobody. Anything, everything, nothing. These words can be very confusing to use, and I understand why. When I was learning Spanish, it was really the little words that were the most confusing, or even the words that looked similar to each other. Sometimes if you leave out one letter in a word, the word can take on a whole new meaning and will be a different word. In English words, there are many that sound similar, like there there, and there. These words are even misspelled by first language English speakers. Don't ever feel frustrated and remember that you are far ahead of others that have just begun their English journey. Frustration will only hinder your learning. Stay positive and you will keep learning. Now let's look at some examples to help clarify how to use these words in a sentence. Anybody. Anybody. I think that anybody can dance better than I can. I think that anybody can dance better than I can. If Anybody can do it. I know you can. If anybody can do it, I know you can. Is there anybody down there? Is there anybody down there? Everybody. Everybody. Everybody loves listening to the music he plays. Everybody loves listening to the music he plays. Everybody who is on the bus needs to exit now. Everybody who is on the bus needs to exit now. Did everybody say that they will attend the meeting? Did everybody say that they will attend the meeting? Nobody. Nobody. I have noticed that nobody in your family is ever sad. I have noticed that nobody in your family is ever sad. 
Nobody is coming to the party. Nobody is coming to the party. Do you mean that nobody here has a phone? Do you mean that nobody here has a phone? Anyone. Anyone. You will see that anyone can complete this simple task. You will see that anyone can complete this simple task. There isn't anyone else in the building. There isn't anyone else in the building. Can anyone in this class help me with my assignment? Can anyone in this class help me with my assignment? Everyone. Everyone. Hurry up. Everyone get in here now. Hurry up. Everyone get in here now. I already counted everyone. I already counted everyone. Did you give one of these to everyone? Did you give one of these to everyone? No one. No one. No one wants to stay at work until 7 p.m. No one wants to stay at work until 7 p.m. No one here feels as cold as I do. No one here feels as cold as I do. Is there no one else that can do the job? Is there no one else that can do the job? Anything. Anything. Almost. Anything goes well with salad. Almost anything goes well with salad. He won't say anything to me. He won't say anything to me. Do you? think that I can do anything? Do you think that I can do anything? Everything. Everything. Everything looks darker in this room. Everything looks darker in this room. She has everything that she needs to do the project. She has everything that she needs to do the project. Is that everything that you need to say? Is that everything that you need to say? 
nothing, nothing. You can have nothing except water for eight hours. You can have nothing except water for eight hours. I am happy that nothing bad happened. I am happy that nothing bad happened. Did he say that there is nothing I can do about it? Did he say that there is nothing I can do about it? I would like to thank those of you who have taken the time to subscribe to our channel. If you have already subscribed to our channel, hit like on this video to show us your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I really appreciate it. Also, thanks to those of you who have subscribed to our other channel, Blabinet Express. Right now at Blabinet Express, we are going through several lessons, taking difficult sentences and breaking them down for you to be able to understand. We will explain the sentences using Spanish to make it even easier for you to understand the meaning of each sentence. Also, I've had several comments on people asking me how to get the poster and the mug, which will solve your problems on how to use verbs in an English sentence. I am going to go ahead and leave the link to the mug and the poster below in the description of this video and in the comment section as well. Check it out. I will see you guys soon. Thanks a million. Ciao.